Hi, this is Simon Armstrong, and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this fancy gyroscopic effect. So this one is really pretty simple, but I think the end result is actually really rather nice looking. So let's make a start on it. So let's just have a quick check on our project setup. 1920, 1080, 24 frames a second, and a duration of 20 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to import and I'm going to bring in this asset called gyro hoop. This is just a very basic thing I've made in Blender and I'll give you the link to that. So let's import that. That looks like this. So I'm going to just turn this group to 3D. I'm going to select my gyro hoop and I'm going to come up to object and replicate. I want to change the shape to line and I want to zero out these two X values. I'm going to have 12 points and I'm going to kind of come down to the scale, set that to 150 and the scale end I'm going to set to 25. So then to make this whole thing work, we're going to come into the angle, open that up, and we're going to target the X angle. And we're going to right click and we're going to add parameter behavior and oscillate. So I'm going to have an amplitude of 360 and a speed of five. I'm going to come back to the replicator and I'm going to open up the angle end. And again, I'm going to target the X. And again, I'm going to add parameter behavior and oscillate. Again, let's just set up that amplitude to be 360 and the same speed of five. And all we're gonna do is change the phase by one. So phase of one. And now if we press play, you can see our effect is working. So with our scale on our replicator, we've got those rings reducing in size. And with those two oscillate behaviors, we've got this really nice kind of gyroscopic effect. So let's just set up the color of this. So I'm gonna come down to color mode and select over pattern. And let's I'm gonna hide this. I'm going to open up the gradient and this color here, let's go for a very pale yellow. And this color here, let's make this kind of nice rich purple. So I kind of quite like that as a basic look. So then I'm going to add some lights. So object light, set this intensity up to a thousand. And I want to come to properties, position, and set that Z position to zero. And that'll just put it right in the middle of everything. And then I'm going to duplicate this light, right click, duplicate. I'm just going to reduce that intensity down to 750. Come to properties, set the X position to positive 750 and the Z position to 750, and then duplicate the light and properties and just add negative signs to both of these. So negative 750 for both the X and the Z. So now we've got a much more interesting lighting setup going on. Let's also now add a camera. And all we're gonna do here is come to behaviors, camera and sweep. If we just set the start X to negative 180 and the end to positive 180, we'll get a nice sort of rotation around. So we see the sides of it. It looks, it looks kind of interesting as we, as we move right around the object like so. So just a couple of other things. I'm gonna to come to the library generators and I'm going to look for gradient and I'm gonna bring that in right at the back there. I'm gonna turn off 3D for this. Let's just adjust the color of the gradient. Let's make this much darker and this one too. Let's make this quite a bit darker, maybe a little bit more saturated like that, I think. And then let's come down here and select the adjust item tool. And then just drag this one over here and this one down here, something like that. That just gives us a slightly jollier background. And just before I show you the final thing, I want to point out something really quite fun. So if we select our original gyro hoop 
and we come to filters and color and levels, you'll see that everything changes because what, what's actually happened with this levels is it's rasterized the 3D and it, it's made the, the, the replication not work in the same way. But actually it creates this sort of really bizarre, impossible object. So just thought I'd show you that. That's quite a fun thing. I don't want to go with that. So I'm going to delete that levels. What I do want to do is I want to make some glow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this group and duplicate. Let's just turn off the original for a second. Let's come over to filters and masks and keying and luma keyer. I didn't want to put it on the group. I actually wanted to put it on the replicator. Again, you can see the effect of that rasterizing the group. So let's just drop it onto there. And I'm just going to bring this in like that. These two controls in just a little bit closer. So we're only getting the kind of brighter bits. And so then to this replicator, I'm going to add a glow and neon. Just going to reduce that edge intensity down to five. And then I'm going to turn back on my original group. And the second group, I am going to turn its blend mode to add. And now we get a glow like that. So why did I do it this way? Let me just turn off this group here. Let's turn this one back to normal and turn off the luma keyer. What actually happens as soon as we add a filter, we actually lose the lighting. So I want you to look at this lighting hotspot here. And if I turn that neon filter on, you see that disappears. So what we're doing here is we're just sort of isolating those bright bits and then we can add them back in over the top of our lit version. And that's kind of giving us the best of both worlds. So then the final effect looks like this. So I hope that's been interesting. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again soon.